So I'm feeling good, girl. I'm feeling good, taking care of myself, getting stuff done, being productive. Broken Crayon Still Color with Tony Collier. not stand about cooking it's cleaning oops i actually don't dry my hats what am i doing i went to my hygiene closet and i picked out some hair products let's get started on this scalp scrub scalp scrub girl you're embarrassing seriously lately i have been obsessed with smelling like baby powder or coconut i'm just gonna tell you guys straight up this was where i screwed the heck up i threw on all kind of rings y'all like we are ringed up I swear to God, people was in the store dancing. Jordan was dancing, this other girl was dancing, this dude was dancing, everybody was dancing to the music because the music was so loud. It was just like bussing, 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 bussing. No freaking way they have Kopari. There's no way, Jordan, Kopari for $9.99? That's all they got. What the heck? <laughs> don't get me going because y'all know how I am. I have like a lot of different styles and I know I'm not the only one. Your girl is so tired, I am not gonna lie, but I am pushing myself to clean my room and my bathroom so that when I wake up in the morning, I feel super amazing because I love to wake up to a clean room, be able to go in my bathroom, wash my face and brush my teeth in a clean bathroom. It just really sets the mood for my morning when everything is all clean. And the only space that is not clean for me right now is my room and my bathroom. So girl, I am pushing myself to get it done. It is like 5.30 and I have been so productive today. I woke up and literally got straight on my laptop edited for hours i uploaded and so much more that was just like the big part of my day because editing is very girl that's how it works um and i just got around to getting in the shower i did some whitening strips i've been noticing my teeth have been a little even a little yellow on the yellow side from coffee and stuff so I did some whitening strips and I noticed that I only have like two more packs because I want to do them for like a week so I ordered a new pack. I use the Luminux, the Luminux whitening strips. I have them on my Amazon storefront. They are the best dang whitening strips you guys. My mouth is dry and I've been drinking tons of water. They are the best whitening strips. On one of my bottom teeth, I have like a chip in my tooth. And when I tell you guys, if I use whitening strips on my teeth, especially on that chipped tooth, my teeth hurt so bad. And girl, I don't have time for that. So I finally found these Luminux whitening strips. And they're more on like the natural side and they protect your enamel and stuff like that. But girl, they get your teeth whiter than any other whitening strips. Like I promise you, they are top here you guys they are a little pricey but it's like um it's better than getting veneers or something you know what i'm saying because girl uh i think we all know my teeth <laughs> they're not perfect at all i've always had like crooked teeth and then i thought i was going to be able to get like top and bottom braces that was a lie i got my top ones on and they didn't stay straight because the dang retainer was cutting off circulation in my gums but they put my top ones on and they were like, once we get these all situated, we're going to go ahead and put your bottom ones on. Months go by, they're still not on and they finally just break it to me like, we can't put them on because your jaw is just, it's not aligned right. So we can't do that or it'll mess up your whole entire face basically. So now if I wanted to go ahead and get braces, of course I have to get jaw surgery before I can even get braces. And I wanted to do that this year, but it's not looking like I'm gonna get that done this year. Maybe next year, we'll see. I'm a little nervous, but hey, it is what it is. My teeth don't really bother me that bad, but I noticed that like since I film, you know, since I'm a YouTuber and stuff like that, like the camera is like inverted and it makes my teeth look way different than how they look in person. And I do want to feel like confident, of course, when I'm filming and like uploading. So girl, it is hot with all these dang hot clothes and the AC is just not kicking in. Sorry for my little red face. Y'all know I'm pale. Um, I want to feel confident and stuff like that. So 
I definitely am going to get jaw surgery and then get my braces. <clears throat> and then I was going to get professional whitening done, but I'm thinking I could just do the whitening at home. Right now I'm working on whitening just because, like I said, I noticed they've been getting a little bit more yellow from coffee and stuff like that. And girl, I can't. Mm -mm. So I'm about to get back up on my whitening strips. Okay, but I don't know where did all that just come from. Oh, I was just saying that I did some whitening strips. And girl, I feel so good. I feel like my teeth look whiter already. So I'm feeling good, girl. I'm feeling good, taking care of myself, getting stuff done, being productive. The more productive I am, the better I feel. Now, it's important to not place like your confidence and your worth in your productivity. But being productive is definitely a way to make yourself feel better. But just make sure you don't get it twisted to where you think like if I'm not doing things and I'm not working and I'm not, you know, doing this or that, then I'm worthless and I'm not confident. You know what I mean? Like that is when it becomes toxic because, girl, my worth and value is found in Christ Jesus. And it may sound weird to the world, but you just won't understand until you understand, you know, I can't be confident in myself. I got to be confident in what Christ does through me in me who i am in christ you know what i mean every gift that i have and every talent that i have is from christ jesus and he's the one that moves through me and does all these special things through me you know i'm blessed by christ and so i am nothing without him if that makes sense i'm probably not even explaining it right just because i'm so focused on folding all these dang clothes i've been trying to get all my laundry done i only have one more load to do but <clears throat> i'm letting my brother get his laundry done because he's got a really cool new job opportunity and he starts tomorrow and he's got to wear dress clothes and so he needs to wash his clothes um but i got the rest of my laundry done i'm feeling good y'all i'm just folding all these clothes and i'm gonna put away a bunch of clothes and then i'm gonna get started cleaning up my room probably watch a talk it out podcast you know when you love a channel so much like i love the joyce meyer channel you know when you love a channel so much you've literally watched every single video and it gets to the point where it like sucks because it's like i already watched this but like i want more so you just like keep watching the same ones over and over and over and over again i wonder if people do that with me that would be wild. I'm sitting up talking, but there might be some girls out there that do that with me. That would be so cute, though. Like, girl, you love me enough to just keep watching my videos over and over. Girl, what? I'm just trying to push myself to get this stuff done because I always feel amazing when I push myself to do things that will make me feel better the next day or in the future, and it pays off and that is you know being wise you know doing today what i will be happy with <clears throat> tomorrow or in the future you know so that's where i'm at pushing myself to do the things that i don't want to do because you know you break bad habits by starting new habits like you don't just like focus on i want to break this bad habit i want to break this bad habit what you do is you start new habits and you will see that those bad hab habits fade away I love me some good smelling laundry. I'm telling y'all, I love me some good smelling laundry. And using that dang purple pine saw in my laundry, y'all, has really changed the game. Like my mama really put me on. All right, let me go give this pile of clothes to Jordan because it's his. And girl, I'll be back. Jordan also has a very cool and amazing new job opportunity. You know, we are all being blessed right now and we are so grateful for it. Did I get stains on these or am I just seeing stuff? Girl, am I so tired that I just seen two stains and they are not there? So yeah, girl, the men in the house are moving up. They both have really awesome jobs. And as long as they stay steadfast in the Lord, they will continue to move up and do very well. So mom and I are very proud of them. These need to be washed. Now I got to figure out where the heck I'm going to put all these clothes. But what I did was the other day I went and bought some more hangers because I know that I can just like for some more clothes in that dang closet anyways y'all enough talking like i said or did i not say i'm not sure i'm vlogging you guys today's video is going to be a vlog um if you watch my recent video then you know that i'm trying to do two day vlogs it makes it easier on me and i feel like i get better content and you guys get more out of a vlog so for today's half of the video i am going to be cleaning my room and cleaning my bathroom by that time it's probably gonna be time to go to bed and then i'll see you guys tomorrow and i've got some fun stuff planned but girl let me get this dang room done i'm gonna throw me on a podcast and get to work okay gotta work 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 i could have sworn there was like a a musically like that i did a musically like that one time gotta work work 
work, work, work. Y'all know like the mu- Bro, I used to be on that drink. I loved Musical.ly growing up. Okay, not growing up, but like for the years that they had it. Anyway, girl, let's get to cleaning. Girl, I didn't even show y'all what everything is looking like. Girl, everything is literally a mess. I've got some cleaning to do, okay? I think the most annoying parts about tonight's cleaning is really just going to be my vanity because nobody likes cleaning off a crazy cluttered desk or vanity and having to take all the products out of my shower and scrub the entire thing down. Those are probably the two things I am not looking forward to, but you know what? You don't have to feel like doing something to do it. You don't have to feel like doing what's right to do it. So girl, let's do it. If you have some cleaning to do and you don't want to do it, get up and clean with me, girl. Get your butt up right now and come clean with me because I don't want to neither, but we can do it together. Girl, let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, and then this is my room. Girl, I'm all over the place. I'm still forgetting to do stuff, but hey, this is my room right now. That's my crush orange pop. Do not mind that, I'm still drinking on it. Don't even worry about, mind your business. But anyways, yeah, girl, this is what the room is looking like. I'm going to work on the clothes first and then probably move over to like this little area right here. We're not going to worry about this pile of empties because I want to go ahead and share with you guys and rate all of these products with you guys tomorrow. Now, let's get started. I've said that 50 million times. Let's get started. <laughs>
move back to the lighting has been a little wonky because I've had the windows open. It's been a vibe cleaning with the windows open, but the lighting is being affected um, with the camera. So I closed the windows. I've got the ring light on. So back to what I was doing. Sorry about the lighting. as you guys can see but you guys I just completed my room cleaning and I feel amazing that took me 50 minutes and 11 seconds because that's how long I've been watching the podcast and it just ended and I just got done cleaning my room I feel so amazing and it gave me the motivation to get this dang bathroom done because seeing the results in my room girl I am ready to have a squeaky clean bathroom but let me show you guys what my room is looking like I am so happy I get to go to bed in a clean room wake up in a clean room yes ma'am pushing yourself is one of the best things you can do because girl I would have been laying in bed right now relaxing because I feel like girl I deserve it I've been working all day yeah but when you wake up tomorrow morning you're gonna be in such a better mood because you could clean your entire area and benefit yourself and you're not gonna feel exhausted you're gonna be happy because of the results let me just show you guys I just got done vacuuming don't mind my bra I'm hang drying it I don't like to dry my bras because it shrinks them which is dumb like if you're going to make a bra fit me make it so that it doesn't shrink either that's my little snack bin that's my crush pop I'm going to finish it I promise my water some water bottles and I vacuumed all of this the size of my bed are actually always the worst am I the only one like I'll have snacks everywhere notepads from writing randomly in my bed I'll get an idea jump up grab my notepad write put it down I just always have the most random stuff next to my bed but I went ahead and of course made my bed look how cute you guys your room looks so much better when you just make your bed we got the sunlight coming in you guys I have my ring light on don't mind that the floors are all vacuumed I got this all straightened up and wiped down. I got my diffuser going with that body spray. It's smelling amazing here, you guys. It is such a vibe. And I cleared out these drawers. They used to be like literally packed and it looked so ugly. But I went ahead and cleared them out. And in the top drawer, I put like my notepads and like sticky notes. And then down there, I have like my equipment for work. So it's looking so much better. I've always, as you guys know, I've always had like random stuff underneath my desks or my vanities. It has nowhere else to go, so it's going right there. And I always just have like tons of products everywhere, so don't mind that. But everything is just so clean, you guys. And this is that armoire that I recently purchased off of Wayfair. I put all of my purses in there. Jordan put this thing together for me, you guys. And this is my new bag that I got at Target. It's different from my normal style, but it is so cute. Oops, oops. It is so cute and I cannot wait to wear it and it's perfect because girl it is giving fall vibes and we are coming into that season. But yeah, let me give you guys a quick overview. 
clean you guys ah i feel so amazing and this was the podcast i watched broken crayon still color with tony collier and it's on the joyce meyer um ministries youtube and it'll be under her talk it out podcast but you could just look this up it was so amazing as you guys can tell just by the title broken crayon still color you can already tell like how amazing it's going to be i love the talk it out podcast and i'm not like a big podcast person but like this podcast is so amazing because it makes me feel like as a woman i'm not the only one going through certain things now let's get started on this bathroom and it's not so intimidating to me now because girl i didn't got that room done i can get this dang bathroom done to set the mood i'm gonna go ahead and get some smell goods going so we are going to Put some wax melts in my wax warmer first things first i always use paper towels to go ahead and absorb the wax that's in the wax warmer sucks it up in a matter of seconds and you can just dispose of it these smell so good these and the unstoppables fresh ones are my top favorite and i've only been able to find them at family dollar amazon has them too but i like to go in store and buy them for some reason just drop it in there and girl this bathroom is about to be smelling amazing now not only is that gonna make the bathroom smell amazing but my favorite cleaner i'm gonna go ahead and put some of this game cleaner in this little bucket thing this little basin and then a little bit of water and then i'll use my scotch bright little scrubber which has some soap in it i'm gonna go ahead and put some more in there and then i will scrub the entire shower down with that and that game cleaner, when I tell you guys, it makes the bathroom smell so good. My favorite cleaners are the Mr. Clean cleaners because they come in these big bottles and they last so long. You can dilute them, do whatever you want to do, but it comes with so much. And this big old thing was like $3.
you guys the bathroom looks so beautiful it smells so good everything just feels so clean looks clean of course because it is clean i don't know where i was going with that but girl it smells so good in here you guys i am so satisfied with how everything turned out you come into the room everything is just perfected i am so happy about this and the bathroom took me who was texting me this late the bathroom took me 45 minutes i watched this podcast throughout cleaning i love this one as well but you guys being able to go to bed in a clean environment and wake up in a clean environment is one of the biggest blessings like Thank you, Jesus, for my able body and my healthy body that I can just get up and clean my area that he blessed me with. Everything is just such a blessing from the cleaning products to the running water to my home to my body being able to move and clean. I just want to be grateful for absolutely everything because look at my lock screen. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. What that is saying is that you can't even get into the presence of the Lord jesus christ without thanksgiving without being thankful you enter the presence of jesus through being thankful and praising him psalm 104 and i've noticed just how big of a difference being thankful and having a grateful heart and an attitude of gratitude how much of a difference it makes in my daily life i see things different i have more energy it increases my faith being thankful down to the bed that you sleep in the pillow you rest your head on it is such a big deal because absolutely everything good that is in your life is from Jesus Christ. All bad comes from the enemy. And we learned in the book of Job that God will allow the enemy to do certain things for your own good. But we have to react in a godly way. To sum up the book of Job, if you do not know about Job, Job was a very wealthy, God-fearing, obeying man. He obeyed the Lord. He stayed steadfast in the Lord. And the Lord blessed him. The Lord blessed whatever this man touched. He was the wealthiest man in his area. Um, and the enemy told God, yeah, well, the only reason why he is like that is because you bless everything that he touches. Like he's favored. That's the only reason. But if you take everything away from him, he won't be like that. He's not going to serve you. So God said, you know what? I will allow you to take everything from him. And so everything was taken from him. I mean, down to his children, everything Job lost. But in the end, Job was blessed double time double for his trouble. The Lord replaced it and more and then gave him 10 more kids. Job's life got so much better after that test, but God allowed it because he had a better plan for Job. Through this tough time, when it seems like there's no way we could come out of this, when it seems like when it seems like there's no way that there's light at the end of this, that things will get better, we have to trust and believe in Jesus Christ. Trust and know that he is still good and he loves us and he will use this situation for our good. He will bring the most out of this situation and we'll look back at this and it's going to build our faith because if he did it before, he will do it again. Trust Jesus Christ and be thankful. Hold your head up high and have a godly attitude throughout all of this because that's what he's looking for. You learn a lot about a person when they are going through a rough time. And if we react the way we are supposed to, the good that Jesus has that's going to come out of the situation will come faster. As long as we are obeying the Lord, acting how we are supposed to, believing in him, and not letting it give us a sour attitude. So I encourage you today. Jesus does have an amazing plan for this situation. It will work out for your good because Jesus is the God that doesn't waste anything. He uses everything for your good if you love him and obey him and trust him. And what I've learned is that Jesus can't help someone that doesn't want to help their own self. You have to get up and do what you need to do and he will take care of the rest. And sometimes doing what we need to do is having a godly attitude being positive, being thankful, being grateful, trusting, believing, having faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. Because girl, if you think I don't go through things, you are highly mistaken. A lot of the times, you know, being a public figure, you have to smile even when you don't want to and hold face. And it gives off the impression that, you know, life is perfect and, you know, I have no troubles and everything is great and everything is just roses and peaches and it's not. I go through a lot of things as well. But you know what I learned in these years of walking with Jesus Christ? He's never failed me and he's not going to start now. So why start having an attitude now? Why start breaking down and start doing things to try to numb things now? 
Girl, tell me why it is 8.03 at nighttime. I never go out at nighttime because, girl, the freaks come out at night. But I am going to get myself some milk tea with no boba because I'm tired of chewing my drink. So, a night run to go get some milk tea, girl. Let's go. And we all know I don't drive, so Jordan's taking me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go to Zarya. <laughs> what? It would be lit. I guess we're not going to Zarya. What? You don't want to go. What would you need to get? We'll go tomorrow. I got to get Swiffer pads. I got to get coffee, creamer. I got to get stuff. Yeah. But we can go tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. I made it home safe. Thank you, Jesus. It is so nice walking into my room and it smells good and it looks great. But I'm gonna go ahead and eat and drink my milk tea and go to bed. My mom made some delicious baked spaghetti earlier, so I'm gonna go ahead and bang down on it, drink my milk tea, and head my little butt to bed. Good night. Good morning. It is the next day, of course. I'm looking a little wild because, girl, I ain't got myself together yet. But I just got done making some breakfast. I just made some sausage and eggs. And when I tell y'all, eggs are so flavorful. When you cook them in the same pan that you made the meat in, like whether it be bacon, sausage, turkey bacon, whatever the heck, if you cook the eggs in the same pan, of course, you want to go ahead and like absorb all that grease with like a paper towel and then drop the eggs in that pan girl them eggs are so flavorful i'm not playing they do look a little dark as y'all can see but girl you can also see that they are full of flavor and i love crispy sausage and we all do so i just went ahead and made some crispy sausage okay this is the bob evans zesty hot girl i'm taking my little butt to target today and i'm stocking up on breakfast food because as of lately breakfast has been my favorite i love turkey bacon bacon sausage eggs i actually used to hate eggs but as of lately i've actually been really enjoying them so mm, 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 mm. Mm. them eggs are flavorful so my plan today was to do my hair with my dyson air wrap but I'm kind of nervous because y'all know I exercise every morning now. And like this morning, like all of this was just soaking wet. And I would hate to do my hair and then like sweat it out. But I still want to do my hair. I paid $600 for that dang air wrap. It's like a blowout tool. I'll show you guys later when I go ahead and do my hair. But I'm a little nervous because I ain't trying to sweat it out. So I'm not going to wear any hats. And I'm probably just going to have to walk or something. Cause girl, I want to do my hair. I'm not experienced with it. I've only used it once. So I'm nervous but excited at the same exact time because I don't want to screw my hair up. I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, this was where I screwed the heck up. But I'm also excited because I want to get to know like how to do my hair with heat tools and how to style my hair and stuff like that. So that's the deal. And then he's gonna take me to Target. I gotta get some Swiffer stuff because it's so inconvenient 
for my mom to have to take the old cedar mop down to her level every single time just to mop her floor, like just to mop her bathroom floor, it's inconvenient. Well, she could just have the Swiffer go over it real fast and it's easy that way. So I need to get like some Swiffer stuff. I'm almost out of coffee. I got to get coffee, breakfast foods, girl, yes. Okay. There is one thing I cannot stand about cooking. It's cleaning. <laughs> Having to clean after you cook. That is the most annoying part. still getting laundry done but I only have one more load and my last load is in the washer so your girl's good to go and once I get all of this folded we're gonna go ahead and get in the bathroom and start working on self-care I'm actually going to scrub my scalp today I don't know how it works but I know that like the way body scrubs I use they say scalp and body so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to scrub my scalp today and I looked in some reviews and a lot of people were saying like don't scrub your scalp in the shower but like get your hands damp and do it before you get in the shower because it'll dissolve and it's just like soapy instead of actually exfoliating your scalp. I don't want to be too rough so we'll see how it goes but I'm going to actually try that today. Today will be the first time that I ever like scrub my scalp and then I'm going to do <clears throat> another set of whitening strips because girl I'm trying to work on my dang teeth. Oops, I actually don't dry my hats. What am I doing? I'm washing my hats and pillowcases and underwear all together because I literally do the same exact routine for my hats and my underwear and my pillowcase. I just use non-scented or baby detergent, no fabric softener, and of course just throw it in the dryer. It's just really simple just because I don't want any fragrance on my forehead. I don't want any fragrance on my face with my pillowcases or on my underwear. So I just threw them all together because might as well. And make sure I'm not putting no hats in the dryer because girl my hats will shrink and I ain't got time I've made that mistake ugh, one too many times hat my little hat collection hat and hat I think that should be all of them I gotta figure out where the heck I'm gonna hang them I gave Jordan my coat rack that I was hanging all of those purses on I'm gonna have to ask him if I can use it to dry my hats But it just made sense to just throw everything in at one time if they all have the same routine then might as well just throw them all in oh forgot about this hat this is my new favorite so cute this is my last load of laundry though so i'm gonna ask my mom if i could help her with her laundry because once again it's so inconvenient for her being down on the lowest level and having to come to the highest level to wash her clothes that's annoying, running back and forth, up and down the stairs, so I can help her. I helped her a couple weeks ago because it just made sense. I mean, I'm right here. Perfect. Thanks, honey. I went to my hygiene closet and I picked out some hair products I'm going to go ahead and use um, with my Dyson Airwrap today. So of course I'm going to go ahead and scrub my scalp like I told you guys. I'm going to try out this way scalp and body scrub. I've used it on my body. It is top tier but I've never used it for my scalp so that will be a first. And then for my moisturizer I'm going to go ahead and use my Olaplex Bond Smoother. I love this stuff in my curls but I've never used it like in combo with like a heat tool. So I'm going to try that with my Olaplex number Number seven bonding oil and then for my heat protectant I'm gonna use this bumble and bumble BB heat shield thermal protection mist so these are going to be my hair care products of the day of course I also have to go ahead and wash my hair and I'm just gonna wash up with Olaplex because one thing I do know is that your shampoo and conditioner do contribute a lot to how your hair turns out so we're gonna go for the Olaplex today okay I'm gonna be a little bougie because I want to make sure that my style comes out cute I also made my bed I've 
I've been more consistent with making my bed and it makes the biggest difference in your morning when you make your bed. I've heard that my entire life, but I just, I didn't really feel like it did much, but it does. It's an amazing start to your day. So when I woke up this morning, I just remade my bed and went on my little exercise. Came home, made some breakfast, cleaned up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on some self care. I usually never wait to brush my teeth because I feel so gross if I haven't brushed my teeth. But girl, I still have not brushed my teeth because I wanna go ahead and finish my coffee before I do whitening strips because after you do whitening strips, you don't wanna like drink darker drinks because it will stain your teeth even worse. So I wanna make sure that I drink all of this before I even get started on my whitening strips. But yeah, we're gonna do more whitening strips today. I'm such a slow drinker. It's hard for me to finish this, but I'm trying to get the rest of my day started. So I have to, girl. We love a fresh and clean mouth. Yes, ma'am. Now let's get these whitening strips in. So when I'm doing these whitening strips, I dry out my teeth first with a paper towel because if they're not dry, the whitening strips will slip and slide everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry my teeth and then put these whitening strips on and I will be talking funny because if you know, you know. Okay, I look funny. I'll be back. Start a 30 minute timer. There's already a 30 minute timer. Replace it. 30 minutes, counting down. I'm so excited. Ah, ah, ah. Bear with me, I'm talking so funny. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. I knew dang well I can barely talk in these dang whitening strips. I don't know why I did them first, but I did. So it is what it is. Let's get started on this scalp scrub. Scalp scrub. Girl, you're embarrassing, seriously. So like I said, I was reading some reviews and I seen that this one lady said that she gets her hands damp and then she rubs it on her scalp instead of having her entire scalp wet because it just foams up that way. So I'm going to get my hands damp and then begin scrubbing my scalp with this scalp scrub and then I'm going to get in the shower and wash my hair. I always love how my hair looks when I take it down from like the twist because it looks so much longer and pretty. Fun fact, when I was younger. I had no curls. My hair was straight and wavy and extremely thin. Don't get me wrong, my hair is still pretty darn thin, but like my hair had no curls. I literally had long, wavy and straight hair. So you can only imagine what I went through growing up. That's your mom? How is that your mom? This is weird you guys, but anytime I wash my hands before I start drying them, I squeeze them and get a lot of the water off. I know it's weird, but I even do it in the shower before I get out of the shower. I like get all the water off, get as much water as I can. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. It ain't really getting to the scalp too good. Okay, I see, I see. I think I should have waited till I got in the shower because this ain't really scrubbing my scalp. Okay, girl. I know my hair gonna smell good though. Because these body scrubs, they foam up. So, it'll foam up and make my hair smell good. Okay, we doing a little something. I don't know what that lady was talking about. You need way more water for this junk to work. Talking about some use it with damp hands and dry hair. Now we can get into the other side. It does way better. Like the wetter you get it, it does a lot better. And I suggest getting it on like your fingertips, whatever scalp scrub you're using and work it in that way. Because the palms of your hands are only gonna go so far. So like try to get it on like your fingertips and then work it in that way. Like I said, the wetter it is, the better. See y'all is getting soapy. These body scrubs get soapy. All right. I think I did the job, y'all. I think I did the job. Look how pretty. All right. Now I'm gonna start washing my hair. Also, if you use these kind of whitening strips or you're going to use them, they are going to have like a gooey coat over your teeth when you take them off. Just get your toothbrush and just brush it all around. And it kind of foams up a little bit and then you can just spit it out. Now let me get my little butt up in the shower and wash my head.
trying to stay hydrated, girl. I'm trying to stay hydrated. I took my whitening strips off. I think my teeth look a lot better each and every time I use those dang whitening strips. They are the most effective and they never make my teeth sensitive. Girl, we love it. I smell so good. Lately, I have been obsessed with smelling like baby powder or coconut. Today, I went for a coconut. So I used my Soap and Glory Magnifico Body Wash and my body lotion. This is such a beautiful coconut and it's because it's mixed with sweet vanilla. It says scented with coconut and sweet vanilla, y'all. This smells so good. I bought them at Ulta, so I cleaned my body with the Dove White Bar and then the Magnifico Cocoa Body Wash. I lotioned up with my Magnifico Cocoa Lotion. Top tier. Definitely like my favorite smelling coconut products right now. And for my fragrance, I'm going to go ahead and wear my, what is it called? La Bies Belle Soleil Crystal Perfume. This stuff has such a beautiful like Madagascar vanilla and coconut smell. It smells so good, you guys. I have gotten so many compliments on this smell. I'm not the biggest fan of like La Bies Belle, but I love the La Bies Belle Soleil Crystal. Oh my gosh, girl. And you're going to shut up. Because y'all already know if it's one thing about me, I'm going to smell good okay so i washed my hair of course i haven't done anything with it as you guys can tell and i'm so nervous oh my gosh y'all know i don't ever do like heat hairstyles and if i do it my mom usually straightens it so i never really do it like i said i've only used that dang dyson ear wrap one time and it was a fail so i'm nervous but i'm gonna go ahead and apply this heat protectant all throughout my hair this bb heat shield heat protectant all throughout my hair Spray it everywhere, girl. Okay, I'm gonna use a lot of this stuff because I ain't playing about, you know, protecting my hair from heat. I ain't got time for no heat damage, okay. Which is another thing, like, um, I wanna learn how to do my hair with like heat tools without damaging it. And I think the key to that is obviously not doing it all the time, but also using a good heat protectant maybe not using such high heat because the Dyson ear wrap has like low, medium and high heat. So I'll probably go for medium. And then um, something my mom always told me growing up was like, when I straighten your hair, do not mess it up because you going over it every single morning to keep up with it, it's only gonna damage your hair. Like it's so bad for your hair. So you have to keep that same style. So if I mess it up, girl, I'm not going back over it with heat. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. And it's gonna be a little minute till I do it again. You know what I'm saying? The last thing I need is to damage my hair some more. And the Dyson Air Wrap actually is supposed to prevent a lot of heat damage. So, hey, let's see how this goes. I wish this Olaplex Bond Smoother had heat protectant in it. It would be smart to add that. Olaplex, I know you're not watching this, but like, if you do, add some heat protectant to this dang cream because it would be an awesome thing to do. <laughs> I'm gonna start adding this Olaplex Bond Smoother. I remember this one time being a dumb little kid in fifth grade i had to go to this new school and it was like this hood little ratchet school y'all know the ratcheter the schools are honestly the more bullying there is so you got to really keep up your appearance you got to keep up your name you got to keep up your rep okay so there was always like kids talking about how other kids are dirty there was always topics about oh you don't wash your hair this and this and that so i remember my mom straightened my hair all right worked hard on it right i rarely ever got my hair straightened and i remember being so scared that somebody was gonna say you don't wash your hair every day which was so dumb because i know they didn't either i washed it out the same night how dumb like girl who gives a crap what they're talking about you leave your hair straight for at least a couple days if not a week like come on and that's how dumb i was like i was like what do they think I'm dirty because I didn't wash my hair because it's still straight the next day. So I'm just gonna like wash it out. What? What the heck? No. <laughs> I'm surprised my mom didn't get mad. Like I'd have been like, girl, I ain't straightening your hair no time soon. Oh no, I ain't straightening. No, mm -mm. You ain't getting no hair straightened by me. You know how much it would cost you to get that junk done in the salon? I didn't work my butt up to do that junk. And you didn't sit up here and wash it out. But a big thanks to my mom for always keeping up on my hair and not putting a bunch of heat on it teaching me like how to do my hair like she was real big on don't be ripping through your hair with the brush because if i find out you're not doing your hair right i'm back to doing your hair again every single day and i wanted to be independent so bad so i was like no 
She's like, I'm telling you, don't be ripping through your dang hair. If I find out that you are ripping through your hair, damaging your hair, you're done. So she was always really serious about brushing from the bottom up. She didn't play about hygiene, hair, nothing. I remember my armpit hair started to grow in and I was lifting up my armpit or something like that. And my mom was like, all right, baby, well, before it's time to go back to school, because it was summertime, she was like, you're going to have to start shaving your armpits. And I got like offended. I'm like, I know. Oh, blah, blah. And she was like, I'm just telling you, baby, because when I was younger, her parents didn't teach her about like shaving and all that different stuff. And so she went to go swimming and was doing something in the pool and people started laughing at her underarm hair. And she was like, I just don't want that to happen to you. Like, I just I don't want that to happen. And I was like, yeah, I know. So I made sure I shaved my armpits. And I remember having this friend in school. She was really funny. And I remember telling her like, hey, like, I see your armpit hair. This isn't me trying to be like funny or anything, but you might want to like shave it, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, girl, don't be teasing my curlies. I was like, you're done. Who, what? Don't be teasing the curlies though. Like, girl, what? Anyway, so this is the Dyson Ear Wrap. And this is like the blow dryer setting or tool there's different tools in here so this would be the blow dryer tool and they have like this brush they have another brush two barrels for tighter curls or for looser curls and then this like brush barrel i don't know y'all i'm still trying to figure it out and the only way to figure it out is to become hands-on and start getting into it so i'm gonna start blow drying my hair now let's see I'm just gonna tell you guys straight up, this was where I screwed the heck up. So the whole point of the Dyson Airwrap is to leave your hair like damp, like a tiny bit wet, so it will dry your curl and like give you that blowout look. But your girl completely forgot and I 100% blow dried all of my hair. So just to let you know, if you think the hairstyle is gonna turn out cute, actually it was a complete fail because I decided to blow dry my hair and it screwed up everything. So I am still going through trial and error with my Dyson Airwrap, but I will get it down packed one of these days and I will probably give a tutorial because I'm gonna be so good, okay? I'm not gonna waste my $600, I'm not gonna give up, I'm gonna keep trying, but today was a fail. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to break it to you. Okay, so I blow dried my hair. My hair is all blow dried. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start sectioning it off. So actually, let me go ahead and put some oil through it. I'm gonna use this Olaplex oil like I was telling you guys earlier. And I'm going to rake it throughout my hair. Get a couple drops, well, a good amount of it. What's key? So y'all know I'm a beginner at the Dyson Airwrap. I don't know much about it and I completely failed at using it today because my hair was supposed to be damp. So I had to figure out how to use it my dang self because I do have curly hair which makes it a little bit more difficult because if your hair needs to be damp what about the roots because the Dyson Airwrap doesn't go completely up to those roots so I gotta figure this out you guys. Um like the top of it still looks like frizzy and stuff. I don't know. Like what am I supposed to do with that? This is garbage. What the heck am I doing right now? Like what am I doing wrong? I don't understand. I'm so freaking confused. And I, oh, <laughs> you guys. I am so sad right now. I could literally start crying. I haven't felt this way since I was in school and I was doing my hair and only had so much time before I had to get on the bus or I had to get in the car to get to school. And my hair was not cooperating. My face would literally be bloodshot red. And I would be like <laughs> And it would like ruin my morning. That's how I feel right now. It just did not work out. It was like one of the biggest hair fails I have ever experienced. And I'm so upset about it, but I don't want to let it control my day and like get me so upset to where like you can visibly see that I am not in the mood because it is just hair. I'm just really upset for a couple reasons. Number one, I put heat on my hair for no reason. Number two, I spent $600 on that thing and I just cannot seem to get it. I think those are my only two reasons. But it's so frustrating, you guys. I'm so annoyed. 
So my hair was like decently flat, so I just put it into my four twists because I know tomorrow morning when I untwist these, when I tell y'all, it's gonna be so cute because it was blow dried and it was pretty flat already. So that is one thing I could say, hey, you put heat on your hair, but it'll work out because now your twist outs will be super cute. Yeah, you spent $600 on it, but you can still figure it out. Not no time soon though, because I'm not about to keep putting heat on my hair. And that was the thing, like while I was doing my hair, if I would have kept going over and over and over and trying, I would have got it. But I'm not about to sit up here and keep putting heat on my hair, damaging my hair, and I'm trying to work on getting my hair back to healthy. Like it just didn't make sense. So I just stopped and just twisted it. And as you guys can see, these twists look super cute. They look longer because of course my hair was like stretched more. So yeah. There was no way I was gonna be able to like record throughout that process. I was literally like so mad, so enraged. And I can see it right now. You're a Christian! How are you getting so upset over here? Shut the heck up. How about, shut the heck up. But it worked out because I know that it'll look cute, especially the more that I twist it like every single day, it'll be more and more moisturized and more and more cute every single time I untwist it. So I'm gonna let this last me for like a week. I'm gonna try to push this hairstyle for like a week just because I'm not wasting putting heat on my hair. I didn't put too much heat on my hair, but I'm just still not gonna waste putting the heat on my hair. So girl, we're gonna let this last for a good little week. Like I'm not gonna sit up here and play. I threw this US Army hat on because it's like the only hat I have dry. I threw on some hoop earrings, this cute little necklace. Y'all know I always wear this. And a bunch of different rings, you guys. I threw on all kind of rings, y'all. Like, we are ringed up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to put some more perfume on. And I'm going to head out the door. And I am going to enjoy myself at Target, you guys. Because, girl, I need my pee. I'm so tired of getting so frustrated and irritated over little things. And then, like, the rest of my day is just, like, annoying. Like, every little thing annoys me. Like, no, I just want to be happy. Because the more you don't, like, bow down to your feelings and bow down to your emotions, the stronger you get and the more disciplined you get as well. So, let's get to actually hold on you guys i want to go ahead and share with you guys my ootd so these are the shoes i decided to go ahead and wear my bulky steve madden shoes i've never worn these and today i have the perfect outfit to go ahead and finally wear them i have on like some victoria's secret baggier sweatpants they're super cute they fit my waist really cute and then at the bottom they're more like loose i have on this like big brown and tan bag i just bought at target and just like a regular white t-shirt so my shoes are from dsw my pants are from victoria's secret my shirt is from h&m tank top is from charlotte rose my bag is from target my hat is from walmart my jewelry honestly from everywhere and then this necklace i bought on etsy by the bebina bebina i'm not really sure bebina bobina i don't know it's like a cute like little jewelry shop they have on etsy and then of course my cute little water bottle but I look cute, you guys. Super cute. I love these shoes. The music was really loud in Target, so I decided to just go ahead and do a voiceover and just show you guys the items that I picked up. So I went ahead and picked up some whitening toothpaste. And then, like I mentioned earlier, I needed to go ahead and pick up some Swiffer stuff. I already have the Wet Jet. Girl, I seen they had some antibacterial Wet Jet solution. Oh, uh, okay. So I got the pads and the solution. I grabbed this super cute glass because I am into glassware right now. And speaking of glassware, look at this super cute. I'm going to call it a water holder i don't know what people use it for but all i know is i want it for water for like my aesthetic pamper nights and then i went ahead and picked up some breakfast food like i told y'all earlier i'm obsessed with breakfast food they did not have my bob evans zesty hot sausage so i had to go ahead and pick up these pre-made sausage patties whatever the heck two things of eggs because eggs go by so fast like girl why and then i want to go ahead and make some chicken fettuccine soon so i went ahead and picked up the ingredients for that you guys did not see but i also picked up parmesan cheese and chicken and then of course the heavy cream for the sauce i had to get my creamer but i'm mad because i have not been able to find my caramel silk creamer just the creme brulee and then of course the fettuccine noodles because girl what the heck is chicken fettuccine without the fettuccine noodles and then i got my coffee they don't have my two times the caffeine anymore so i went ahead and picked that up i love me some meat sticks grab that 
I seen this the last time I went to Target and I was like, the next time I come back, I am buying this. And then I seen it and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this thing. Look how cute I had to grab it. There was no way I could leave it there. This is gonna be so perfect for like pamper nights. I could fill it with chlorophyll water and some ice and then I could pour it into the super cute other glass that I bought. I'm really into cute glasses and stuff like that. I could pour it into here. Drink my drink, how cute. They came out with a new prime. So girl, when I seen this, I had to go ahead and pick it up, but we're pulling up to KFC. So I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm gonna get. What am I gonna get? You gonna get that chicken sandwich? I'm just gonna get chicken tenders. Chicken tenders? Chicken tenders with ranch and a Pepsi. Can I have a number six? with ranch sauces and I kind of have that as a medium meal with a Pepsi to drink. Just get fries. Uh, fries. What's the drink? Uh, Pepsi. So I got you for a five piece tuna combo with a fry and a Pepsi and yeah. ranch for the sauce. Yeah, and then can I get another number six in a medium meal as well, but with barbecue? They come in one size. Then yeah, I'll just have that with barbecue and a Sprite to drink. That's it for today? Yeah. So two five-piece tenders, one with a Starry, one with a Pepsi, one with barbecue, one with ranch, both with fries. Okay, you can pull around. Alright, thank you. Yep. Girl, I cannot wait to eat. I am hungry than a mother trucker. Let me tell you. No, but this tastes like green apple. I'm gonna drink my prime on ice. That'll make it taste so much better. Oh yeah. Actually. Ice makes everything taste better. Why she take that little ice cube to her uh, cage? Ain't nobody gonna take it. Ain't nobody gonna take it from you. She really trying to hide it. <laughs> does this actually taste good or is it just strong? What? The Death Wish coffee. Um, coffee doesn't taste good to me, period. So, <laughs> new prime. Who this? You got any extra shower caps? Um, um, I think I do. I think I have one. All right. Hand it over when you get done eating because I don't want my hair to get frizzy. Girl, I'm getting comfortable. Okay. I got my American Eagle men's underwear that I use as shorts on. You know I'm getting comfortable when I put these on. Okay. I'm about to eat my food and watch some kind of show. What you wanna watch? Something good. That's so vague. How am I not connected to the internet? Oh, my mom changed the password. Okay, what was the password? Oh yeah, they're real good. <laughs> All right, I love you. Uh-oh, she was saying something right when I was hanging up. I hate when that happens. No, no, all right. She was telling me that she loved that body scrub I gave her. If y'all watched my recent video, you knew that I bought another Whey body scrub, the one that I used on my scalp today. And I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and return it. But when I thought about it, I was like, I can just give it to my mom. And she used it and she loves it. So I'm very happy about that. Mm. I love chicken tenders. Me too. Girl, how in the heck did this vlog get drug on to three days? I was supposed to end it off last night, but something came up and I had to handle that. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do it tomorrow. But tomorrow I want to go to Marshall's. So I'm going to Marshall's y'all because ever since I moved, the stores out here are so whack. Target's not as good. TJ Maxx is whack. Burlington is whack. Now I'm going to go ahead and try the Marshall's and I'm going to see if they are good. I'm really hoping they are good because I want to find like a good spot to shop at. I want to find like a good spot that has like nice hygiene products, cute stuff. I'm mainly going to see what kind of like products they have. So girl, I'm about to go ahead and drink this coffee up and get myself together so we can go to Marshall's. And like I said, I believe that my little twist out will be cute today. So I'm kind of excited, but I don't want to like get my hopes up again for nothing. Anyways, I'm just rambling y'all. What time is it? I've been up for a minute. It's 9.27 and I'm just now getting to drinking my coffee. I wanted to bring my mom with me to Marshall's, but she's got some other things going on. So 
I'm gonna bring her with me next time. Right now I'm working on my brother's laundry and then I'm gonna start helping my mom with her laundry. I like doing laundry y'all. It's annoying when it's my own but I'm actually really good at laundry and I'm just like girl genetics really play a role. My dad was amazing at laundry. He loved laundry. He was huge on hygiene. Did not play about hygiene. The list goes on. Like I have a lot of the good qualities from my dad. I'm not gonna lie so very grateful for that. I have great qualities from both of my parents and I'm very grateful for that. In my opinion what I believe like the bad stuff that my dad was like dealing with and doing I believe that it was demons and like spiritual warfare that he didn't know how to fight and he didn't know what to do and so what I believe is that like the demons that mess with your parents also try to mess with you and so when we say breaking generational curses I believe it's fighting generational demons and finally winning so that's what I believe I believe the demons that tempted and tormented my dad tried to do it to his children but we're making better decisions so that's personally what I believe and I am very grateful for the Lord Jesus Christ because if it wasn't for him I couldn't do it all right because it's like you judge your parents you judge your parents you judge your parents but then when you're hit in certain situations you kind of see like okay I see why they may have reacted like that or acted like that on top of not having any guidance like if it wasn't for my mom like my dad definitely needed to skip with my mom if, if my dad was gonna have kids with anybody it needed to be my mom because my mama didn't play that okay whereas his mom did his mom kind of like enabled him and let him do what he wanted to do out of guilt because she wasn't there for her kids whereas my mama wasn't no guilt okay you are not going to act like that you are not going to do those things i don't think that behavior is cute nor is it cool now we have a choice when we become adults but since i've seen an example and since i have you know a positive role model in my ear like this is right and this is wrong i'm like okay i'm choosing this Whereas my dad didn't have that. Not making excuses for anybody's actions, but it plays the biggest role. Like your parents literally play the biggest role in your life. And that's why I'm so grateful for my mom. But the fact of the matter is, I made the decision to listen to my mom. We all have choices and free will. And not everybody wants to listen to the good. Not everybody wants to do good. Some people just wanna do bad. And then another thing is, is yes, your parents play a very big role in your life, but it is up to you and I to make the decision to wanna do better. Oh, but my parents this oh but my dad uh, you know what yeah but you're an adult i'm an adult so if i start acting like my dad that's not his fault it's mine because i'm making a decision to act like that and i know what's right blaming your parents for your behavior is childish i'm sorry it's, it's very childish it's, it's like the blame game like you do stupid stuff and then blame your parents you feel what i'm saying so i want to make that clear that there's no excuses whatsoever and deep down you know my dad didn't have guidance and stuff like that but deep down he knew it was right everybody knows right and wrong it's just helped me to like forgive him just trying to like understand you know his upbringing his background it helps you know to forgive people when you try to like understand their story if you get what i'm saying so i ain't making excuses for i'm not making excuses for nobody but it's helped me to forgive so whatever's gonna help me forgive and that has helped me you know acknowledging hey he didn't really have the best upbringing not much guidance yeah he knew it was right from wrong but you know it just helped me to forgive so if you get what you get what i'm saying and the tough things that i went through with my dad i'm grateful for as well because they made me the person that i am you know what i'm saying no matter what you've gone through there's always something that you could be grateful for i mean joyce myers come on now. what her dad did to her and the fact that she says today that it made her the person that she is and she's not upset about it anymore because if she didn't go through it she wouldn't be the woman that she is sometimes you need a bad example to want to do good because you see where it took them and you ain't trying to go there. So hold on, let me go the right way. But yeah, girl, we going to Marshalls and I'm gonna try to film, film in there because Target, their music is so loud. That's another thing, girl. I'm like, how y'all music so loud? Swear to gosh, people was in the store dancing. Jordan was dancing, this other girl was dancing, this dude was dancing, everybody was dancing to the music because the music was so loud. It was just like bussing, 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 bussing. I'm like, why? I can't even, I can't even record because I'm gonna get copyrighted. So I just picked up my little things, picked up my little items and got the heck out of there. I'm sorry y'all but it is what it is like I gotta be careful for my channel because so you know what if Marshalls has music going I'm gonna still try my hardest to like find a loophole because girl we don't have to do what we gotta do I'm feeling good this morning though girl stop playing this is one of my favorite sweatshirts I own and I got it at Marshalls swear to gosh like I love Marshalls well I can't even say that because I don't know how this Marshalls is trying to finish up this coffee so i can brush my teeth i'm gonna use my new toothpaste that i got this optic white cold gate removes 15 years of stains five percent hydrogen peroxide girl we're gonna test this out because girl i need my teeth to be white everybody wants to be confident in their smile and it's like even harder nowadays because everybody has veneers girl i almost got veneers i'm not even joking but i'm like scared because i'm not trying to be like shark boy and then one of them things pop off and then what then i gotta fly out but through the time of having to book it wait for the appointment 
I gotta just have my tooth out like that. Like, you know, that stuff scares me. Maybe one day I actually will give an ear just because like, I want the perfect smile. But like I said before, y'all, I'm going to work on my natural smile first. So jaw surgery, braces, whitening. I have to get filing done because I have chips in my front teeth. The first chip has always been that way. I don't know how the heck that happened. The second chip actually happened like a year and a half ago because metal straws. And I've never used a metal straw since. Metal straw chipped my dang tooth. So my tooth is chipped. So I would have to get filing and like all of this different stuff done. And if I still don't feel like completely confident then basically all that was like a waste of money and I'm just going to go for veneers. But uh, right now I'm just working on whitening because when my teeth are white, I don't really care that my teeth are not perfect. Like if your teeth are all crooked and stuff like that, like mine's, I ain't talking about you, girl. No, but like if your teeth are like, you know, crooked and stuff like mine's, you know, whitening them makes the biggest difference. Like I've seen so many people with like not perfect teeth, but they're white. And I'm like, oh, your teeth is nice. Your smile is beautiful. You know what's weird though? is that the most thing I get complimented on is my smile. Anytime I go out, I'm either complimented on my smile or my smell. The Lord be using people because the Lord don't see nothing wrong. He's like, I know how I made you and you're absolutely gorgeous. It's what the world is doing. It's what the world is saying. It's, it's the world standard. And you shouldn't be trying to hold yourself up to the world standard. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do whitening strips today because it takes 30 minutes. And I wanna get out the dough. Cause I was waiting on you with the dough. No, but I'm going to still stay up on my whitening strips. Don't get me wrong, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and try out this toothpaste today. This is going to be my whitening of the day. Girl, this junk was expensive. But you know what? I'm going to invest. Because if you go to get professional whitening done, what's that little boy doing? Coming down that hill like that. He's going to fall. Lord, protect him. Don't let him fall down in Jesus' name. I pray, amen. New toothpaste. Who this? I'm going to pick up the trash, though, because I'm trying to keep my room clean but it's already getting back to messy and we are headed to marshall's i'm gonna have him show my little fit when we get to marshall's i am so excited i'm really hoping this is like a good store because as you know burlington is trash tj maxx is trash target isn't as good i have not found a good store to shop at yet so i'm really hoping this marshall's is good because marshall's is affordable they have affordable products they have affordable clothing they have affordable literally everything so i'm really hoping this is going to be a good trip. My mom wants us to look at like some pictures for her room, you know, like the art picture. What do you call it? Like wall decor. I don't know. Yeah, wall, wall decor. There you go. I am so excited. And my twist out turned out pretty cute on this side, but this side, it's not cute. I don't know what happened to this side. I do. I put more heat on that side. I always look back while I'm editing and like figure things out and I'm like, well, duh. It's like all frizzy, it's not really wavy. And then this side is so cute, you guys. And I'm like, did I not twist these like um, tight enough or put enough moisturizer over here? But it'll progressively get cuter and cuter and cuter throughout the week because they get more and more moisturized and your hair is like being trained more and more to like have a cuter twist out, if that makes sense, girl, I don't know. But I am in such a good mood today. Exercise changed my life. Mm. <laughs> it does, or it did because I have like so much more energy. I feel so much more productive. I just feel so much better about myself ever since I started to like exercise. So it's a really good feeling. It's a really good feeling. But yeah, girl, let's get to my shows and I'm gonna show y'all my cute little outfit. I've been looking real cute lately. Natural and all. First of all, this thing, Marshalls, is so organized. I am already obsessed. And they have so many of these. What do you call these? What's like the brand? Philosophy? I believe it's Philosophy. They have so many Philosophy body washes. I'm going to grab this Cabana Girl. And what's funny is that I was at Target yesterday. And they were like $23. Oops. They were like $23 for these body washes. And they have them here for $10.99. So I'm going to grab the Cabana Girl. Um, they also have like vanilla birthday cake. I'm not a big fan of like the baked good smells Also, my nail popped off from the car and I didn't bring any glue so we're not gonna talk about it <laughs> And then over here I see they have a passion fruit Daiquiri, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab these two body washes. They're aesthetic and I know they smell good No freaking way they have Kopari. There's no way Jordan Kopari for $9.99. You know how expensive this stuff is? Stop kidding. Okay, we're stocking up today. This is a good Marshalls. Oh my gosh I think I found my store Stop it right now. I've been wanting this. This is the coconut body wash. Jordan, this matches my coconut shower oil. This is the best Marshalls I've ever seen. I've never seen a Marshalls with this good of products. Girl, call me crazy. I don't care. So I'm sitting here editing this footage and this is what I see. 
instantly I recognized the packaging and I was like, wait a minute, how did I not see that that was the Olay Henriksen body cream? Mind you, the Olay Henriksen body cream is $40 at Sephora, it's $38. Every single time I go to Sephora, I'm this close to buying it, but I'm like, girl, the body cream is so small for $40, like I just don't know about that. And girl, I look at my footage and I'm seeing it. And I'm like, no, I know for a fact that is the Olay Henriksen body cream. How did I not notice it? Like, I was just so excited. There's probably way more stuff I did not see that I would love to have, but I was just way too excited. So I'm like, Jordan, look at this junk. You know I be going to Sephora. I look at this body cream. I always say, no, I'm not going to get it. And they had it at Marshall's. I can only imagine how cheap it was there. He's like, girl, I'll go there right now and I'll go see if it's there. So he went to Marshall's for me. I got it, you guys. $12.99 for this $40 body cream. I'm sorry. I have a new hygiene spot. Call me crazy if you want. I don't care. I am crazy for hygiene. I don't care. I love taking care of myself. I love having beautiful products. And girls, to have a beautiful product for less than half the price, I don't care. I got the Olay Henriksen body cream, y'all. I'm so happy about it. Thanks, babe. Soap and glory. Oh my gosh, Jordan, I can't. I just can't. <laughs> In shower moisturizer? You're lying. Stop it. I just feel like I am in a dream right now. They have the Tahitian Vanilla Hydrating Body Wash. I have the matching body cream to this, so that is perfect. And this is the complete outfit. Y'all know I got this bag from Target. These are from Garage. This is from Marshalls. My hat's from Target. Glasses are from Target. Spirits are from DSW, I believe. Jordan, are you kidding me? Look at these cups. I wanted to get these on Amazon. $9.99. And look at this bag. Oh my goodness. I know I'm doing too much, but like this is like the best. I found my store. All the stores out here are so whack. They have nothing cute. This is the place. What the heck? Look at these little, oh my God, it's a little way the poop cups. The that is so adorable. What the? Oh my gosh. Jordan, my mom's getting this. My mom's gonna love this. She will love this mug for her coffee. Oh my gosh. A couple mm. things are definitely gonna go back. Just had a whole shopping trip been going so far. <laughs> what the? Okay, that one's actually dope. I like that one. I don't like that one. And I'm coming back to do like home decor because they have so many cute things for the house. Like we could fill this up with like apples and stuff. I'm so excited. That's all they got. But I did find you this cup. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Isn't oh, it? Yeah, I love it! I knew I you would love it. it. I like this. This Mustang hoodie with a hat. Yay, girl, it's about to get cold. So I'm about to start breaking off the hoodies. Are you kidding? Look at all this cute stuff they have. Oh, yeah, I like that. This store's gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> oh, ain't this cute? It don't fit me, but that would be so cute. Oh my gosh, stop, because if this fits me, I'm getting this skirt. Look how cute this skirt is. Let me go try this on. That was one of the best shopping trips I have had in so long. I am so happy about it, you guys. I got so many cool things. Thanks, babe. Yo. Oh my gosh, Jordan. We're gonna go ahead and head home and I'm gonna try on these sweaters for you guys that I just bought and then go ahead and like do like an overview of everything that I bought, like a little haul. Oh, he kind of swagged out. Look at that little outfit. <laughs> yes, sir. I love seeing like, this is gonna sound bad, but like I like seeing older people swagged out. Like, don't give up on your swag. Okay. And some older people are finally able to afford what they've always wanted. So they like, girl, I'm about to live it out. Like, girl, look at her car. She looking nice. Stop playing. These older people out here is kind of flexing. Stop playing. Challenger, though. Facts. It's a night. It's a purple Challenger, y'all. And it's beautiful. Yeah, that's clean. Stop playing. I've been seeing a lot more women in Challengers and stuff. Yeah. 
and Mustangs. I be like, I thought it was about to be a dude. No, a girl is her. And you know what? I'm just gonna wait for my next vlog to do the hygiene empties only because we've done like a good amount of stuff in today's vlog and I wanna start working on this video. So we're just gonna eat the leftover spaghetti that we have in the fridge. I'm going to start working on this video so I can get it out to you guys by, I believe, tomorrow. The faster I get started on editing, the faster I'm able to get, oh my gosh, you guys, look at these cute little, like what are they called, scarecrows? Look at they've got scarecrows all on these trees, you guys. It is so cute. I met my match out here, y'all. That didn't make sense. You ever heard somebody say, you gonna meet your match one day? You gonna meet your match one day? No, I don't even know why I just said that. Oh my gosh, there's Bath and Body Works, there's Ulta. They got Five Guys, Starbucks. But like I said, the faster I get started on editing, or the quicker I get started on editing, the faster I can get it out because y'all, these vlogs take a lot of time to edit because it's so much footage like I literally take like four hours of footage and break it down to like an hour and something so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this video but we're gonna go home and let's go through all of the stuff that we just got girl because this Marshalls I found my store y'all they have cute clothes good products nice decorations like come on so my new favorite store is Marshalls or I've always loved Marshalls but this new Marshalls I was looking at my skin in the mirror on our way to Marshalls I am so grateful I'm grateful that Jesus like put the idea in somebody to make Accutane like I'm grateful like I am just so grateful and I've said this a million times and I'm gonna keep saying it you cannot listen to everybody because let me tell you something I know I've said it a million times like I said I'm gonna say it again you're gonna have to be the one that pays the price for not doing what you knew you were supposed to do. For an example, I had so many people reach out to me and tell me not to go on Accutane because of their story, one of their friends' stories. They're looking stuff up, like this is probably why you shouldn't do it. And I'm not gonna lie, like I low-key considered like what people were saying, like okay, maybe I shouldn't, blah, blah, blah. But I knew that Jesus was telling me to go on Accutane. I had it all this praying about my acne. I expected, the Lord to just go ahead and like clear it up but that wasn't the plan for me that's not the plan that he had for me he wanted me to go on Accutane and I knew he was telling me to go on Accutane so I went on Accutane and y'all it was literally the best decision I could have ever made for my mental health for my skin for my life for everything and you know what I cannot be the only person I'm getting tired of everybody in their mama talking about some God told me to tell you God didn't tell you that see the problem is people don't know how to differentiate differentiate I don't know they don't know the difference between the enemy and and God, and so they be saying, God told me to tell you, God didn't tell you to tell me that. You came up with this junk, or the enemy told you that junk. And because you want it to sound like super spiritual, and you want it to sound like it's serious, you want to sit up here and say, God told me to tell you, get the heck out of here. Y'all be careful, people are always talking about some God told me to tell you, God told me to say, hmm? God didn't tell me that. So uh, maybe he's telling you that for yourself because he didn't tell you to tell me that. This is like my mom's favorite serum and they had it for 20 bucks. And this junk is like 60, $70 at Sephora. So I went ahead and got her this and then her cute little cup. She's so excited about both of them. I'm gonna go give these to her. Girl, let's get into this Marshall's haul. Yes, ma'am. I am so excited. I got so much cool stuff and I'm so grateful that I have a store that I like to shop at because girl, these stores, they were hurting my heart. I was losing hope, like seriously. So I actually already have the black version of this purse. And then this is the white one. My mom has the cutest one. She has like a brown one. We bought it in like a girly tings video. We need to go to that name Marshalls and do a girly tings together, like girly tings shopping because we always used to find the cutest stuff. So she has the brown one, I have the black one, and now I have the black and the white one, y'all. I don't really mess with Steve Madden like that, but this dang Steve Madden bag, I know y'all already seen it, but stop playing with me. This is so cute. And I love how it has like this little thing, this little thing on the strap because it gives it more like personality. Like it's super spunky, like we love it. And the bag is little, but it actually holds so much stuff. So I got this cute bag. How much was it? I didn't even look at that. $30. Girl, y'all didn't see me pick this up. So I love Escada fragrances. Escada always has the most prettiest summer fruity fragrances. They make fruity fragrances that smell extremely mature. So I went ahead and picked this up. This is their limited edition Escaping with Escada Flor del Sol. Ooh, look at that packaging. Oh, and this was on sale for 24 bucks. And Escada is really good quality, y'all. I've gone through a million Escada fragrances. Ooh, girl. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, y'all. 
stop playing stop it's got to never lets me down i have never smelled a nasty it's got a fragrance every single time i smell it's got a fragrance they're super fruity and beautiful and woman like and mature and they just smell so clean this is the bottle y'all and it comes with so much and i got this for 24 dollars. oh girl oh girl stop playing 24 dollars marshall's be hooking a sister up so i have been wanting i'm gonna say that a lot in today's video because all these products that i've seen like a majority of them i've already been wanting to try but girl they're expensive but i've been wanting to try skin fix like skin fixes um their body care i've heard so many good things about skin fix so i got the glycolic renewing scrub pre-shower and in shower chemical and manual exfoliator so this is a exfoliant and it has 5% glycolic acid, 5% lactic acid. So I'm going to use this on my underarms and my legs for like an even skin tone, like strawberry legs. And then my underarms like aren't the brightest. I don't know why I'm explaining it like it's a bad thing. It's natural. It's okay. But there's also nothing wrong with trying to improve things. Now listen, if you are going to be exfoliating, you also have to make sure that you're not just going out in the sun. Like there's no deodorants out here that have sunscreen. So if I exfoliate my underarms, I can't can't just be outside in the sun like you know like tanning and like doing certain things because it's just gonna ruin them so be careful when you're exfoliating like I was telling y'all in my recent intimate shaping routine where you're exfoliating you have to add sunscreen or like don't let it go in the sun keep your arms down you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna go ahead and try out this glycolic renewing scrub and girl I got this for $14.99 I'm pretty sure this stuff is nearly 30 bucks because you know how Marshall's and TJ Maxx they'll have the price and then they'll say compare at. This says the price is $14.99. You can compare it to $20. This is not $20. Always know that the comparing price is way less than the actual original price. The original price of this is definitely like 30 bucks. Like for let me grab my phone so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Skin Fix Glycolic Renewing Scrub. This scrub is $32. 32. They said I'm talking about some 20. This scrub is $32, y'all. And I got it for $14.99 see that's what i'm talking about that's why i like to go to marshall's and tj maxx if it's a good one because girl you're not gonna have to pay full price and you're gonna get these luxurious products for a fraction of the price and then this is the aha and bha renewing body cream and this is for like the bumpier dry areas and i'm gonna also try it on my legs for strawberry legs because i know exfoliation really helps with that look how cute oh my gosh girl we getting deals stop playing when i went up in that dang place and i started seeing all them products i'm like wait a minute don't get me going because y'all know how I am. And I don't just buy products not to use them. Y'all know I be using my products. That's why I have so many hygiene empties. Like I use my products, okay. And I got three, didn't I get three Kopari body washes? Don't play with me, cause stop. I have been wanting to try specifically the coconut body wash and then the Tahitian vanilla. I was just on the Kopari website the other day. I was like, I really want to try out these body washes. Like, should I or should I not? Girl, I'm glad I didn't because I went to TJ Maxx. I mean, Marshalls and I got blessed. Blessed. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord knew I needed it. I didn't even know they had a guava body wash. But girl, they do. So I got three Kopari body washes, one coconut, one guava, and one Tahitian vanilla. Girl, we love it. How cute. Oh, girl, I am tired. I've been on my laptop all day. But you know what? I came in the bathroom to take a shower and I was taking everything out of my bathroom from like Marshalls that I was hauling you guys. And I was like, um, girl, how did you forget about the dang philosophy body washes and the soap and glory moisturizer? And on top of that, how did you forget to smell everything and let people know how you feel about it? Like, girl, I was just too caught up in the moment, okay? Stuck in the moment with you. So we're gonna go ahead and smell all of these dang body washes. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and smell the pink coconut Kopari body wash. Love it. Very light, I'm not gonna smell like nothing, but it'll be a very nice in-shower experience. Guava, ooh way stronger y'all girl stop playing that smells like candy girl i know something that smells like this y'all and it is so beautiful it's so fruity summery and pretty let me smell the tahitian vanilla i love vanilla y'all vanilla coconut all of it mm, this smells like honey it smells like a cashmere honey. Okay, 
Cabana girl. I buy a lot of body washes because body wash is what I mainly go through super fast. Okay, it's very light. But one thing I love about Philosophy and their body washes is they always smell like a bubble bath. They always have like this under scent of like bubbliness. Passion fruit daiquiri. Like I said, it smells like a fruity bubble bath. And I love Philosophy's packaging. Like girl, stop playing. Look how freaking cute and all those words. And then last but not least, I had picked up this Soap & Glory In Shower Moisturizer. So let's smell that. This is like that, um... That soap and glory scent I've smelled a million times. I'm trying to put my finger on it though. Okay, grapefruit. Definitely. It says with notes of rhubarb and grapefruit. I don't really know what rhubarb smells like, but I know that this smells like grapefruit. That's grapefruit for sure. Okay. So that's smells like grapefruit. I would have never thought I would have been like a cup girl, but I'm obsessed with good glassware. So like y'all know, I got this super cute glass cup. Look at the design. Like if you do it this way, it's like a rainbow. We love it. And then the gold rim, so aesthetic. And then it's got like this little base. Girl, you know you're maturing when you're into glassware. Like at this point, I love cute glasses. How cute, like it's going with my bathroom decor. Like, oh my gosh, are we seeing this right now? Look at this cup. I've been eyeing these cups for so long, you guys. They have them on Amazon. But the ones on Amazon are not as big. I looked at the reviews. These are huge. These are so cute. Look at these glasses, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. Y'all know I'm into like aesthetic stuff nowadays. So these cups, stop kidding with me. Y'all seen this skirt on me? And then I'm into like super cute like hoodies and stuff like that. So y'all know I got this one. I'm telling y'all, I got my other cute hoodie from there too. This is Ford, like the car brand, Ford Mustang. Oh, this is a Mustang too then. So they're both like Mustang um, sweatshirts and hoodies. So this was $16.99. Oh my gosh, I look so cute. Guys, stop, look. Do I not look adorable in my pants? <gasps> I love my style. Girl, I love finding cute stuff and good stuff for a fraction of the price. Like, oh my gosh, you would find a hoodie like this at H&M or Garage for like $30, $40. Yeah, we love it. We love it. Oh my gosh, y'all know this is my style. I have like a lot of different styles and I know I'm not the only one. Y'all know I thank Jesus for everything. I know that every good thing comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. And girl, I don't care if it's a deal on a t-shirt, girl. Huh. I am very grateful to the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? I'm grateful that I have family. I'm grateful that I have beautiful dogs. I'm grateful that I have an amazing fiance. I'm grateful that I have a home to live in. I'm grateful that I got to wake up this morning. I'm grateful that I have a vehicle transportation. I'm grateful that I'm able to do nice things for my mom. Girl, I'm grateful for so many things in life. So if you are feeling like kind of like down and out, look for the good things in life and be grateful for them. And also, the last thing I want to go ahead and say to you guys before I end off today's video because this is really important and I want you guys to understand that we tend to beat ourselves up for the little mistakes or the little things that we do but you know what we don't do? We don't give ourselves credit where it's due. We don't celebrate the little accomplishments. We don't say hey good job. We don't talk to ourselves nice when we are doing good and so what I want to go ahead and say is that any good thing whether it's even if it's something like, okay, I didn't eat that cookie last night. I don't care what it is, you have to celebrate even the little accomplishments, even the little things. So yesterday for me, I was very proud of myself and I gave myself credit at the fact that I didn't get so upset about my hair when I had the choice to. Or the day before that, girl, I got up and cleaned and I didn't want to, but it made it so much easier on me the next day. And I was so proud of myself for that. And I talked great to myself, like, girl, you're doing a great job, you are doing amazing. Talk to yourself how you would want others to talk to you. Talk nicely to yourself and you will see the biggest difference in your life. Talk to yourself nicely encourage yourself talk to yourself how you'll be talking to other people you'll be sitting up encouraging everybody else encourage yourself you could be just in your head doing your hair getting ready for work whatever the heck it is and just be like girl you're doing amazing you're up you're getting yourself together and you are going to do well today be nice to yourself i love you guys so much i appreciate every single person that checked out my vlog today and every single person that supports me i love every single one of you guys i thank you guys dearly from the bottom of my heart for watching my channel being kind and just being there for me i love every single one of you guys God bless you all in Jesus' name, and it's time for your girl to go. Bye, guys.